Alright, so hello and this is me again, Vincent, and welcome to another unboxing video, I guess, or a Godzilla Dine Extra. Now, I'm probably going to upload on the gameplay Godzilla Dine Extra's video I did, probably. I lost it, but I need to find it again so I can upload it. So I promise you that. And if you guys remember, I, um, I did not post the videos, but I do have the, um... The Atomic Breath and Rodan set, the new one, including the new big 12-inch Godzilla. And they said at my Walmart they weren't going to get them until this Saturday. Or they weren't going to get them at all, but I found the rest of them. So, we're going to open them up and you guys already know what they are. So, here's the, um, whoa, glare. Um, God, Fire Godzilla and Mothra set. So, we're going to open these up. I'm really excited. And luckily, from the rumors that I heard um, about some of the Mothers not having blue painted eyes, well, mine does, thank thankfully. Alright, most of this is always, it always happens off screen. So there they are, in this packet thing. Okay. Bust Godzilla out. I think I could just pull him out, can I? Yeah, I could just pull him out. Or, no, I can't. I ripped his butt off. Well, he's cool, though, looking. It's raining outside, by the way. I kind of made it a little loose, but that was my fault, really. I'm sorry. Please don't tell me spoilers in the comments. I'm trying to stay away from all of that. But I actually do like the way it looks. Like, they splashed it on. Because... I think this is what it's gonna look like, or something like that. And I, and again, I love the design of this new Godzilla, like the uh, 54 classic um, fins and the shorter tail, the feet. And I do like this. This is Flaming Dorito Zilla, if you guys remember from the video that I said about these guys. And he does actually look cool. He's got the orange eyes. It's awesome. All right, I'm gonna stick him down here. Now for Mothra. Now for years, how's this gonna work? That was extremely close to my face. Right, come, on, come, on, come, on. come on, come on, come on. Can I just slide her out? No, I can't. I'm afraid I'm going to break it if I do that. Her wings are just really, um, stickers. I need, like, something thin to go through this. Do I have anything that does that? I have this sword from this robot. I'm going to use it. From this Gundam thing. Come on. It's like a oh, it's like an arrow. All right, this is this is the stupidest way of packaging Mothra I ever seen. All right, this guy needs his shield back. So hold on. All right, I need something though. Godzilla? No, that's this is a stupid idea. Hold on, I no. I don't want to use that. You know what? I'll just try to figure this out. You know what? I'll just rip, her, rip the thing out. I should have done that from like the beginning. Well, I should get the background first before I do that. Alright, there we go. Ah, there's tape all over me. Uh, Alright. I got the background out of its plastic prison and I kind of dented it a little bit. I'll put the background and Godzilla right there. So now it's time to bust out Mothra. Now, I was gonna say, 
for years I wanted to see like what Mothra would look like as a realistic um, moth because I wanted to see her like that and now I really like the design and at least she looks like she's going to do more than she did in the other movies. Like she did stuff but it, it was kind of like it's she's a butterfly and not much is happening with Mothra so. Alright I got the thing out for the background. So there we go. And it's a temple background. Now, I don't know if this is going to be in the movie or not. It probably is. But, again, don't spoil it. They should have done that with Godzilla, like, four years ago. I don't want to get into the whole thing again. Alright, I can do this. Yeah! There we go. Oh, her wings are ball joints. She's so itty bitty. And her wings are ginormous. Look at this. It's kind of bent, but whatever. They're just stickers, which is a really cool idea. So, and they're probably, it has no articulation, but that's really cool. You get her in like really interesting poses, at least. Oh, a little bit. Probably going to have her something like that. That's cool though, like the arms thing again. She's going to be able to do physical stuff. And I hope she does the glitter thing with her wings, the her scales in the movie. Because that's like a traditional thing with Mothra. Now I'm starting to notice that they're a little flimsy. Yeah, see, they just die. A little bit. They start to droop over time. I, I'll figure it out. But I'm happy that it has the blue eyes a little bit. At first I was like, who cares, at least. But I think it would have helped it a little bit because that's all it is. And she got the mantis arms and everything, and she goes, Wee! <laughs> Almost. And this is really cool, actually. I like this. I like that. I'm gonna put her with Godzilla, Fire Godzilla, over there. And just to stick this back in the box, we are opening all of these in one video, so that's what I'm doing here. So, this is the video you guys have been waiting for forever, I think. I'll show you guys all the, the figures in one picture, I think. Alright, so I'm going to put them on the floor. Now for the big, the big one, or not the big one, I mean the big main one, Godzilla and King Ghidorah, so. And the same thing with Ghidorah I, and Rodan, I wanted to see, like, realistic versions of them in a more modern take on Ghidorah, which he, he looks awesome, I think, and he's going to walk on his wings, which is what I wanted to see for years, which was shown in the trailer a little bit. But, gosh, she's... Wait, hold on. They smell like this weird... Almost strange plastic. Yeah, I just stuck my nose on Mothra's wing. Alright, now to bust out Ghidorah. I noticed from this figure, it has like these... Black wash highlight things on him. Holy crap, he's huge! And again, I didn't think these were going to be so big. When I, when I saw these in videos and everything, I thought they were going to be smaller. And holy crap. He's heavy too. And he's cold. That's really cool. And one head can move that way. One head there. And one head this way. That's cool. And then his tails? His tails move, right? Oh, they're on this like weird ball joint thing, almost, and his legs can move, so you can get him into flying poses. If you have stands, which I don't really, that's actually cool. I like the black, like the wash, if you could see it, like the black and everything. And this was an early concept design, so it's not, it doesn't matter though still, like, um, if it's accurate to move or not. It has the mains from the Showa. Um, Ghidorah, but it doesn't matter. He looks awesome, like, with the wings out and everything. So I'm going to put him on top of his big brother, and... And he's so big, he can't even stand. Come on, you got two two head, three heads, two legs, and two tails. You can't support your own weight, Ghidorah? Ah, uh, yeah, there he goes. Alright, we're going to free out Godzilla. I can understand why this set with the normal Godzilla has his tail off, because Ghidorah takes up half of the box. Alright, I freed Godzilla. This is your normal Godzilla. I like the the same thing with this one. Like he has like the brown on him at least. And the fins. 
again, I love this new design though. Like I keep mention, I mentioned it before in several of my Showa uh, Godzilla thons. Right, watch this explode. Oh, it didn't. <laughs> Thank goodness it didn't. All right, now to stick his tail on, make him a complete Godzilla. There we go. All right, it's in. Yeah. So this is probably going to be the default Godzilla I'm going to use in pictures a lot of the time. Because my set is meant for 6 inch and minifigures. Um, really, his feet are a little weird. Um, really, but... I don't really... Because the large figures like the new big Godzilla I have... He's way too big to fit on my set. Don't go... I just had food earlier, that's why I'm hiccuping so much. So excuse my uh, body state. So here's the other background with the football uh, stadium. It actually looks like the stadium from the Ultraman anime, if you guys saw that. I thought it was okay. I'm not going to review it, probably. Because I don't do television series, as you guys know. I talk about it, but... I know you guys probably keep like saying, like, why do you have... The scissors pointing like right at you where you could hurt yourself and you're like afraid for me. I'm afraid for myself, but personally I don't realize I'm holding it half the time. And why do they stick this in there like that? They should have just had it like some other way. Oh, and look it falls in. Dump that out. Dump it out. Dump it. Alright, and now for this one. So boop. There we go. Now there. I kind of starting to feel like I agree with a lot of people. Like, they're cool, but if they could be bigger. But if you have, like, your own set like I do, there's no purpose in them unless if you, um, unless if, like, you have something else like this. Like, seems like it is cool, almost. And now you could have, um, Rodan, Godzilla, and Mothra. This, these, um, I don't know if they're 5-inch or 4-inch figures, because this, this is a pretty big Ghidorah. You have Godzilla in them fight, like, raw. And these are perfect for kids, obviously. I think. I'm probably gonna have have to have Ghidorah like in this weird. Th oh shoot! <laughs> wow. My wing just popped off, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Yeah, it's perfectly. It's perfectly fine. I'm going to have to have him, like, leaning up a little more or do something. I don't know. Because he's very top-heavy with those wings. Or do something. I'm going to have to lean him behind somebody. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna die. There you go. Speaking of Ghidorah, now for the big mofo. Uh, Ghidorah. I'm afraid I'm going to drop it right on all these. They're, they're literally all at my feet right now, so they're all down here. Is it double taped? Please don't tell me. No, it's not. So why is it stuck? Oh! <laughs> That's why. Okay. Alright, Ghidorah. He's huge. This is the biggest Ghidorah I ever had. And these are really the first Ghidorah figures I've gotten before because I have um, the Bandai Creation GMK, the Treadmasters one, and I have um, the other new Bandai Creation one. Don't scratch it up. Why do they have two rubber bands in them? It was rubber bands at his feet too. Let's watch the gonads. Alright, now it's time to pull him out free. Oh, holy crap, he's heavier than his smaller one. I, the detail is more amazing on this one. I mean, look at this. He is ginormous. This is the biggest thing I've ever seen. Imagine having this thing and his heads are huge. I like how one head has like... Yeah, they totally missed the hide, but it doesn't matter. The heads are on different articulation points, as everyone knows, and mine's ready to fall off over here. Obviously, and his legs move. I gotta get his butt on, and I have buildings for my set now, so yay for me. They're all stuck in this stupid plastic thing. 
That's one thing I don't like about these boxes now, because it makes me... It forces me to destroy the box just to get to the rest of it. And look, I just tore a part of... Of it. Give me the tails! And the rest of everything I have to offer in this box. And I think I almost cut myself. Alright, they should have an instruct instructions because where do these tails exactly go? Do they go in this part? Find out right now. Okay, yeah, that one goes in there. I almost poked myself with Ghidorah's tail my own eye no it's backwards because <laughs> one's going the other way and the other one's going the other way they should put like a and B on like the tails like do little etch things and when you put it on you don't see it oh, well wow. uh, that's the sound of force right there you hear it Wow, these are hard to get in. Why did they make it so hard? That's where it's supposed to go. <laughs> At least I think, I think I, I had it wrong, but there's no, uh, okay. Wow, this is the hardest thing I ever did. And it's in incredibly stiff to, you hear that? You hear that awful noise? That's the sound of it so tight in there i'm sweating now gosh yeah it's supposed to go like this they give it to you backwards this nice that's my one problem with this i'm afraid i'm gonna hit my face with his wing come on i want Ghidorah. i want my fully Ghidorah. i'm afraid i'm gonna pop up the other tail i'm gonna be so mad if that happens if it flies off Oh, okay, I found the technique. I was supposed to do it like that. Okay. Wow, that was freaking hard. I think because I forced the other one a little bit, I popped it off, but it's perfectly fine. I didn't break it, so... It's one of those hinges where you could put it right back on anyways. He is huge. Oh! His legs move in and out. I didn't know. Look, it does like this this thing. I love his feet too though. Is it supposed to do that? It doesn't feel like it should. I don't know. Whatever. He's awesome. Let's see if he stands. Yeah, he could stand perfectly fine. He scales with the smaller ones, I think. A little better. Wait, I want the band. They seriously taped it. They taped this, this the little airplane thing in the plastic. And there's the building. Open I already destroyed it. Why wouldn't I? Alright, I'm gonna get it assembled real quick. Oh I just hit Ghidorah. That was a bad thing. I'll place him there. Jeez. I'm afraid I'm gonna cut myself with this box. Okay. This is good for kids, at least. Like, there you go, look. The fully assembled green building here. So I'm gonna put this on my photo set now and use it for now on. That's cool though, so you can have like your monsters run through that and go right through it. And now to just get this weird plane out. Oh, it's on the outside. Oh, stupid me. I was thinking like, why would they tape it inside through the back? That makes no sense. And this looks like a bomber. At least I think it is? I don't know. I'm not familiar with that kind of thing. It looks cool. It's perfect for Shin, almost, because there's bombers in that movie. Alright, so I got Ghidorah. Big Ghidorah out. That was extremely hard. At least I don't have to put anything on Rodan. So now for Rodan, because... Ghidorah made me want to use the bathroom now. <laughs> like, I'm actually going to compare real quick to the, the, the this one. Like, yeah, look at that. I actually like the big one better than the small one. Small one's cool for pictures, at least, but 
he doesn't stand very well like his his larger counterpart. I'm gonna put the big one on top of the box over there. Now for Rodan. All right, for Rodan. So again, I said I like um Rodan's design in this new movie, like with the molten lava um, rock stuff on him. This is probably just going to be just as hard as Ghidorah. And I did that? I did a stupid. I did a stupid. And it's starting to stink in here. Speaking of which. They have like this familiar smell. It smells like a department store. Well, maybe because they come from Walmart. And the good thing is he only has three twi two twisty ties on his wings. And he's huge. I feel like I could smack somebody in the face with this. Okay, so he's like the mini one. His head move. His head moves. Yay. Does it bob? No, it looks like it's supposed to be a ball joint, but it's not. I don't want to break this one either. Look at that, though. And my smaller one. Hold on. Ugh. There he is with the small one. One has actual eyes. The other one doesn't, but it don't matter. To me, at least, I'm going to stick them back up there. He's probably going to fall on me later on in the video. Nobody heard that. That's cool though, but one wing is actually like in this weird bent position. Almost like, if you could see it like that. He's huge though. I think he'll work great. He looks awesome. I love the paint on him. Of course he can't stand. Oh, he can. Okay. And then there's this really cool helicopter. Do the blades spin? No, they don't. Oh, it's like this rubber. Okay. So kids don't eat this and lose it and or think it's a gummy. That's cool. And now for the main event, the building. Now it's in there. This is the last time I'm be able to do this. <laughs> Until they release like more of these toys or something. Look, there's like an army of like Godzilla stuff down here. Oh, they're not. Oh. That's the sound of pain when you hear it. Oh. Chimney Christmas. Oh, and it comes in more. No, it doesn't. It comes in three. Okay. I'm cool. Let's stick that over there real quick. Alright, to assemble the building now. Dang it. Because <laughs> I have it at a bad angle. Alright, uh, this is supposed to go this way. Okay, cool. Alright, so here's the orange building here for Rodan to destroy it to go like that. Wait, it'll actually look like a monster. Like monster buildings. It'll be the sequel to Monster House. Stick it right there. Alright, that's pretty cool though. Now I just need to stick this back in the box. Now all this needs to go in my store. Uh, Alright. That's fine though, that's fine. Oh, now we're having an issue getting it back in. Because this weird flap thing on it. Okay. Alright, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Oh, it's six inches. No wonder it's so huge. It's it's pretty big for six inches. I'll tell you that right now. But I think these are all great. If I had to, um, at least, um, what you call it, um, put them in order. I think the my favorite one right now is this big Ghidorah, the big, large one right here. This dude, he's awesome, and because he's big, and plus he could stand. And he has the buildings and stuff. The next one will have to be the small Ghidorah and Godzilla set, um, because Ghidorah and I have a normal Godzilla. And then I think the Rodan is next. And it's not like best to worst for me. It's from it, it's from good to it's from really good to good. So, and then it's the Mothra and Fire Godzilla set. And I love the big guy and the two other ones. I have the um. Atomic Breath Godzilla and the um, Rodan. So I don't have the mask or the big 24-inch um, tall Godzilla yet. I haven't found those in my store yet, unfortunately. I really want that mask. But um, so yeah, I think I'm pretty much done here. So um, I'll be working on Godzilla-thon probably sooner or later. 
um, Godzilla vs. Destroyer, and it had to do uh, Gino, Zilla 98, and Godzilla has a sticky tail here for some reason. Or is that me? No, it's definitely his tail. It's weird. Okay. But yep, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be working on Godzilla Thon, and hope you guys like these Godzilla Thon extra things, and I hope to post this video. And see the little image photo gallery I have at the end of these little guys and all this stuff. So, yep, so hope you guys enjoyed. Rate, comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, watch videos. Hope to see you next time. And it's not a Godzilla Thon, but I'll say it here, I guess. So, I'll see you guys in the next Godzilla Thon. Oh! King Ghidorah, ah, and Mothra, wee. <laughs>